Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be filming a video called Five Fragrances That Every Woman Needs in Her Collection and this time it's the designer edition. And this is somewhat of a perfume wardrobe. So if I was to start my collection from scratch again, these are the five fragrances that I would pick to start my designer collection. I've already done a niche version of this video, which is live on my channel. So if that interests you, I will link that below. Plus, I am going to be doing a giveaway today. And I have got it in the title, so you probably know what it is already but there is a little bit of a clue in the background. Can you spot it? And I have decided to do a giveaway on the brand new release from Kiale, which is called Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. And I have it right here. It is still in the cellophane wrapper. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can enter and how you can win this fragrance. Before we get started on the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue making fragrance content like this in the future. Plus, I would absolutely love it if you could join me over on Instagram. I've popped my handle on the screen and I just love chatting to everyone in the DMs. I'm regularly posting stories asking what YouTube content I should film next to. So now we've got that out of the way, let's get started on my five fragrances that every woman needs video. So when I think about starting a designer collection from scratch and what fragrances are truly versatile, I had to mention this first one, which is YSL Libre Le Parfum, but I think any of the YSL Libres would be perfect to start a designer collection. Now I have mentioned this fragrance quite a lot in my previous videos, and that is for good reason, because I think this is a truly outstanding designer fragrance. I think it is very mass appealing, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, so many people will love the smell of this, which is great because it also means you are gonna get compliments. It's a truly classy and timeless floral based fragrance. The most prominent notes are orange blossom and lavender, but Libra Lee has new notes of ginger, honey, and saffron. And the honey note definitely brings a beautiful sweetness to this flanker. I personally prefer this one over any of the other ones just because I like that sweetness. The lavender is dialed down a little bit in Libra Lee, but aside from the notes, I think you can't go wrong with this fragrance and the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Say the YSL Libra bottle is one of the most beautifully designed and aesthetically pleasing bottles on the market. And I think whether you want a fragrance for yourself or to gift for someone, I think you can't go wrong with Libre. Do you love YSL Libre? And if so, which one is your favorite? Because I'm really interested to know that. But yeah, I would definitely start a designer fragrance collection with this one because it's versatile, timeless, and classy. Now, when I think about picking only five designer fragrances, I definitely would want something that is an everyday fragrance, one that is appropriate for so many occasions, including like one work or interviews, etc. And the fragrance that I would pick for that is Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. In essence, it's a musky floral scent, but it does have cashmere in the base. And this is the one that I would reach for on a day where I didn't necessarily want to stand out too much from the crowd, but I wanted to smell amazing. So I typically wear this to work or maybe for a function. So let's say I have a work conference, something where there's going to be a lot of people and I don't want to overwhelm the room. This is also very good for those lazy days and even for a bed scent. So yeah, I think Narciso Rodriguez is generally a really great place to start in terms of designer fragrances, but this is the one that I think is the most versatile and the most timeless. So yeah, Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk had to be in my top five. The third fragrance in my top five designer fragrances that I feel every woman needs would be Galan's Mon Galan. And I think you couldn't go wrong with any of the flankers, but this one is specifically the EDP. My other favorite is the Intense, and I also love Bloom of Rose. Now, the reason why I've picked Mongolan is because, again, I think this is very elegant, very timeless, and also versatile. It has this mass appealing vibe to it, which means so many people are gonna think you smell absolutely incredible. 
What I mostly love about this is the really punchy lavender note, but it is balanced very well with this almost dry, but very sweet vanilla note in the base. And it also has tonka, which if you know me, you know I absolutely adore a tonka bean note in fragrances. But there's also a lot going on in Mongolan. You get bergamot right in the top, which gives it kind of a fresh, juicy and sparkling opening, but it also has a base note of licorice. And don't let that put you off because it just adds a little bit of a unique vibe to the composition. And then it also has iris in there. And iris normally makes something quite powdery, but I don't think Mongolan pulls powdery at all. I don't want to talk too much about the notes, I just want to talk more about where you would wear this type of fragrance. And I feel like Mongolan is a perfect everyday fragrance, but you could also wear it for something like a formal occasion, including black tie. You could wear it to a wedding, you could wear it on date night. So I think this is a truly versatile scent and it's why I would pick it to start a designer collection. So this is another one that I wanna know, do you like it? And if so, which flanker is your favorite from the Mongolan lineup? Like I said, I absolutely love the EDP, but Intense and Bloom of Rose are other favorites from the lineup. So yeah, my third choice was Mongolan by Galan. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit for my fourth fragrance and pick something that I feel is more evening appropriate. Now I would wear this during the day too, but this one kind of kicks it up a notch in terms of being more of a beast mode projection, in my opinion anyway. And that is none other than Dior's Addict. Now this is quite an old school fragrance, but don't let that put you off because it's not like a vintage fragrance but it has been around for a while. And in my opinion, it's one of the best Dior fragrances. It is super versatile, and I think it's very unique within the Dior lineup. To me, I kind of get a warm fruitcake vibe from it. And whilst the notes don't suggest that it would smell like that, that is just what I am getting from it personally. It is super sexy, and I would pick this to wear for maybe a date night, but then I would also wear it to a formal occasion or when I want to stand out a little bit more in the crowd. This has a lot of florals in there, including orange blossom, jasmine and rose, but it also has this really juicy blackberry note up top, which I guess is maybe where I'm getting the cake vibe from because it could be almost like a spiced blueberry loaf. I know it's not blueberry, but yeah, it's giving me this kind of like fruity vibe, but definitely with a spiced element. And in the base, you have vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. And if you've never smelt Dior Addict, I'd highly recommend you go to a Dior counter or somewhere that sells Dior and get your nose on this one because I think this is an absolute timeless classic and I would definitely recommend this as a place to start your designer collection. Do let me know if you've tried Dior Addict. There are a few different versions of this. They have um, a more light and fresh version, which is called On Fresh, I think. They have one in a pink bottle and one in more of a clear bottle, but the original Dior Addict in the blue bottle is my favorite of them all. So that was Dior Addict. And last, but by no means least, I am recommending a fragrance that I talk about so much on my channel, and that is none other than Kiale Vanilla 28. Now, some people class this as niche, some people class it as designer. I class it as designer because it's owned by Huda Beauty or under the same company, and they obviously sell makeup and this is a very affordable fragrance. Now, Vanilla 28 is such a great place to start in terms of your designer wardrobe, because you can wear this as a standalone fragrance, but what I mostly use it for is a layering fragrance, because it is the most beautiful vanilla and brown sugar based fragrance. Now, the juice does get darker over time, and that is just the vanilla macerating and getting stronger and stronger. I've already gone through a bottle of this, and I absolutely had to repurchase it. I would wear it on its own, like I said, but I also use it to layer all the time. Actually, a really good layering combination would be Dior Addict and Kiale Vanilla 28, and it would just make Addict that little bit sweeter. But yeah, I had to include a Kiale fragrance, and this was absolutely my favorite Kiale fragrance by far until their newest release. But I've included Vanilla 28 because I think this is more versatile than the new Vanilla Royale, and I think more people would enjoy this one. But yeah, Kiale Vanilla 28 would be a great place to start a designer collection, and this is truly a versatile fragrance. 
But I hope you enjoyed my five recommendations that I feel every woman needs to start a designer collection. Please do let me know what fragrances you would pick if you were to start again and you could only have five designer fragrances in your collection. I find it really interesting and I still do want to explore more designer fragrances because there are so many out there and of course I can't own them all. But now let's get to the part that you've probably all been waiting for and let's do the Kiale Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64 giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away a 50ml bottle of the brand new release from Kiale. And this is now my favourite Kiale fragrance. I think it is so unique and it smells very, very high end and niche. And the reason why I wanted to do a giveaway as like I said at the beginning of the video, I want to thank you all for supporting me. I think it's really good to give back and I hope one of you will really enjoy this fragrance. So. Here are the rules you need to know to enter. So the first thing you need to know is that unfortunately this giveaway is only open to the United Kingdom. I am very sorry and I am trying to work on giveaways that are open internationally, but I will be covering shipping myself for this giveaway. So at this time, it's only open to the UK. Now the giveaway will be live for seven days. So it will close on the 24th of November at 7 p.m. British Standard Time. I will pop all of this in the description box below. Please make sure you actually read the rules to make sure you've entered correctly. And the rules to enter this giveaway are really simple. First, you need to like this video. Second, you need to be following my channel, so please do subscribe. And thirdly, please do pop a comment below and tell me why you want to win this Kiale Vanilla Royale perfume. It could be anything from you want to win it for yourself or maybe you want to win it for a loved one. It doesn't matter, but please do just let me know down in the comments. I will be selecting the winner at random using an automated tool. And as I mentioned, it is only open to the UK. So please do go check the description box to make sure you are entering correctly. But I am so excited to be able to do this giveaway because this is such a highly anticipated release from Kiale. I have done a review of this on my channel already. Please do go check that out if you want to know more. But I really do hope whoever wins this really does love and cherish it like I do mine. You can see my bottle just there on the side. And please be very vigilant because the only way I'm going to announce who is the winner is on this particular video. I will write the name in the description box on the 24th of November at 7 p.m. British Standard Time and I will pin that person's comment in the comment box. That is the only way. Please do not fall for any scams. I will not be asking you to cover the shipping. I will be covering it myself. So yeah, there's a lot of weird little scammy things going on. I will announce it back on this video within the description box and by pinning the winner's comment. So yeah, I'm super excited to do this giveaway. It makes me really happy that I can do this and I just really hope that whoever wins it enjoys it. But thank you so much for joining me today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all soon in the future. Have a wonderful day and I shall see you all soon. Thank you so much and goodbye.